years after she said snake swallowed 36 million naira from jam office where is madame philomena madame fifi two years after she said snake swallowed the 36 million naira from jam office where is madame philomena she said two years ago something bizarre happened in nigeria it's really one of the funny and absurd moments in nigeria as a clerk told nigeria that a snake swallowed a huge amount of money approximately 36 million naira Philomena Chiese is a clerk working for the Nigerian Examination Board with collect as she collects exam fees. She works for a man Mr called Mr Samuel Umoru who was finally discovered to be the snake in the statement of Chiese. According to reports and investigations, Chiese finally confessed that it was her boss Samuel Umoru who withdrew all the money in piecemeal. However, the office was only able to remit 88.7 million naira, falling short of the 35.4 million which made them to probe the clerk. And she finally revealed that it was Mr. Omoru that embezzled the money. Now, where is both Chiesa and Omoru? The corporates are currently facing legal charges since 2018 and as of, and as of right now, the last thing that was heard of the two corporates was that their case between the case was being adjourned in March to June 2020. However, since then, nothing has been heard of them to date. This is really one of the most funniest saga that has ever happened in the country. Where is Philomena? Chiese. And um, yeah, personally, I believe they've probably been covered. I mean, a case, a legal case since 2018, it's not... Legal cases don't take that long. If you're in Nigeria, they might. And of course, they're probably covered by, you know, higher powers that we don't know about who probably, you know, um, helped them to embezzle funds and, of course, give. Well, obviously, the first um, opinion here saying, I'm just seeing this woman for the first time. Make sure you do at all. I need my money from the money she stole, please. We should forget it. it has been gone. That's the drama's problem. Look at new Unilag issues. Have you had anything again? So we are playing man's nose man. I feel like right now there's no point bringing it up because the country is going through so much and we need to reform the whole country. The revolution is happening now so that cases like this, there will not be a two-year legal battle. I mean, this is happening in 2018 and now nothing has been happening to them. They haven't faced any consequences. Yes, in the new Nigeria that is going to come, this behavior will not be um, be condoned, especially with, you know, Philomena, Chiese, and Mr. Omoru. Well, they run out of luck. Um, they're not the only person that loot in Nigeria. Again, we can't be comparing the worst of two evils and see which one is less evil and then justify it. Absolutely not. That doesn't work. They run out of luck. Um case closed that is nigeria for you it is the nigerian factor again it's actually highly surprising how a case would last for um for two years for embezzlement of funds wow am i surprised no government to look for them wherever they are and make them face the rest of the law i feel like the thing is the higher powers in the government probably have been stealing money and then they just got caught for the first time and then saying that a snake swallowed it i mean come on now we're not out here doing african proverbs to just say simple sentences a snake swallowed it like what what was your thought process behind that if she were a senator she would have been granted bill but the thing is it's a two-year battle how does it take that long you have embezzled money go to jail what was what's there literally um Abdul Rashid, Mena case is there also. Can corruption be wiped out of this beloved country, Nigeria? Wow. When the youth take over 2023, the snake and the entire snake kingdom will be held to captive and there will be no peace for corrupt people.
exactly if you know the um film called snake in the palace this snake is going to leave the palace <laughs> well another person says is buhari fighting corruption or is the master of corruption we don't even know if buhari is in the government that's a whole new question um apparently he's jubro from sudan he's been claimed he's dead and aisha buhari is making a lot of claims which obviously allegedly we can't say it's confirmed they have joined apc and their sins are forgiven wow <laughs> in nigeria unless you don't have the behind one people that matter in nigeria there's no crime that one will commit that one will not walk away from unskated without bruises justice delay is justice denied in nigeria and this person continues saying god will expose all of them nigeria judicial system is seriously sick wow i'm seeing this one for the first time she made a history in nigeria well, I personally believe that, you know, this is just tiring. I mean, at this point, this news is old news. And the focus right now should be getting into the new Nigeria and hopefully putting her in jail and the other man as well. Because to be honest, Nigerians are focusing on so many other things right now that this is not forgotten. All your cases, we're going to bring it out. Mrs. Philomena, we're going to bring everything out. And in the new Nigeria that's to come, shoot this attitude or this behavior will not be condoned well i feel like right now our focus should be in educating the people offline the people who are not on the internet and not seeing what is actually happening we need to educate them and you know try to fix up i feel like nigerians can raise the money i mean for the protest they raised money in like three days and there is like 60 million naira for the protest so we can raise money to educate these people try our best to bring them out of the desperate that the desperation that they have which makes them literally sell their futures for like five thousand naira or a bag of rice which to be honest is highly embarrassing so i personally believe that that's what we should be focusing on as for philomena and mr omoru they're going to face wrath of the law except they fly out of the country which we, i don't even know how that's gonna happen but that snake we found the snake and um the snake kingdom as somebody said is going to be put in prison another person says quoted where is both chiesa and mr omoru i am the, i'm of the opinion that this question should have been directed to the president integrity and government i don't think this person is grammatically making sense <laughs> someone says nothing person no go see for inside life wow another person says um the person says in Nigeria, unless you don't have the behind one. I'm guessing this person is talking about the higher powers. Um, the person, you're basically going to get away with whatever you can get away with, to be honest. I don't think anything will happen to them, to be honest. And this needs has been, I mean, for the fact that the case has been drawn out for two years, it's we can literally predict and forecast that nothing is going to get done it doesn't take that long and yes well put what you think about this in the comment section below do you believe that um philomena and mr omoru will be um held captive and face the wrath of the law put what you think and do not forget to like and subscribe